this department can be the change. This department can be the, the glue that binds this city together. Chicago's new temporary top cop says he's ready to tackle Chicago's challenges. Charlie Beck says many of those challenges are some of those, the same ones he dealt with during his time as L.A.'s number one. But as CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozloff found out, Beck is already taking some heat from one community group. I don't just love cops. I am cops. You know, I, I know that, that once CPD understands that, uh, that they will understand me. It's Charlie Beck's olive branch to Chicago's police officers who may be wary about an outsider leading the department until a permanent superintendent is picked. Their welfare, making sure they're safe, making sure they're funded. But L.A. Black Lives Matter activists say Beck's cop talk is exactly what Chicago should be worried about. All of the news coverage that we've seen has uh, labeled him this reformer, this progressive, but what we experienced here in Los Angeles was anything but. Beck retired as Los Angeles' police chief in June 2018 after nine years in that role and some controversy. Today, Black Lives Matter LA sent this open letter to Chicago stating under Chief Beck, LA's police department became the most murderous police department in the nation when it came to fatal police shootings. Give this as a warning to Chicago, especially black Chicago, that he's a, a huge problem. First, that's, that's absolutely not true. Says Beck. We found some police shooting statistics compiled by the Washington Post and checked. From 2015 to 2018, the year Beck retired, Los Angeles had 58 fatal police-involved shootings. Phoenix had 59. Chicago, 31. Beck says per capita, L.A. is far from the worst. Anybody that looks at my record in Los Angeles will understand that while I have supported the vast majority of officer-involved uses of force, when I see something wrong, I say it. Mayor Lori Lightfoot bristled at the suggestion Beck's appointment would drive a wedge between police and Chicago's black community. We have done everything that we can and we will continue to do to make sure the communities of color are dealt in on the success of this city. Now, if you include fatal police shooting numbers through this month, 2019, Los Angeles does have the most, but that in happened after Beck retired. And Brad, several sources, including yours, told us Beck would be the man for this interim job, and now he's here. Yeah, so now let's see what happens from here. Yeah, over the next several months. Okay, All right. thank you. Thank you, Dana.